Hello everybody. In this video, I'm going to give an update on my portfolio. Right now, my portfolio is worth $100,182.81. In the past year, I am up $25,420.53. Year to date for the year 2024, I am up $8,112.86. Today was a slightly green day for me. During the day, I was up $158.08. After hours, I am up $175.99. So up about $300 today, which is really not that much uh, percentage-wise, you know, less than half a percent. But still, I'm happy that I made money rather than lost money. Let's go over my positions. For my options, I'm selling Amazon $185 covered calls. These expire August 30th. My total return, I am down $144. I'm selling Disney $95 covered calls. These expire August 30th. My total return, $40. I'm selling Google $170 covered calls. These expire August 30th. My total return, $3. I'm selling SoFi $8.5 covered calls. These expire August 30th. My total return, zero. I have a target diagonal spread. I bought the target $100 call expiring December 19th, 2025 and I sold the target $140 call expiring August 30th. My total return, $223. I have Amazon $140, $130 put credit spreads. These expire October 18th. My total return, $8. I have Amazon $200, $210 call credit spreads. These expire October 18th. My total return, I am down $120. I'm selling Disney $95 calls. These expire October 18th. My total return, I am down $135. I have McDonald's $210, $200 put credit spreads. These expire December 20th. My total return, $800. I have McDonald's $300, $310 call credit spreads. These expire December 20th. My total return, I am down $2,340. I have Verizon $35, $33 put credit spreads. These expire December 20th. My total return, $753. I have Verizon $47, $49 call credit spreads. These expire December 20th. My total return, I am down $100. I have Disney $70 calls. These expire December 19th, 2025. My total return, $1,486. For my stocks, I have 300 shares of Amazon. Amazon is at $179.90. My average cost, $98.94. My total return, $24,294.25. I have 6,000 shares of SoFi. SoFi is at $7.34. My average cost, $5.62. My total return, $10,300.80. I have 400 shares of Disney. Disney is at $90.72. My average cost, $67.50. My total return, $9,000. $288. I 
I have 100 shares of Google. Google is at $165.75. My average cost, $142.48. My total return, $2,327. This is a margin account. My margin total is $86,384.51. My margin used is $61,754.73. My options collateral is $22,000. This leaves me with $2,629.78 in buying power. My margin status is low risk. My buffer is $27,092.69. This is how much money I can lose before I get margin called. My annual interest rate is 6.55%. The daily interest that I'm paying is $11.05. And I'm borrowing $1,000 of margin interest free. So yesterday during my portfolio update, I talked about how I did this target play, right? I had a target diagonal spread and I needed it to be above $140 today, right? It reported earnings today and it went very well. Target was up over 10%, over 11% actually. So Target was up 11.20% during the day. And that's because it reported good earnings. Here's an article that says why Target stock just jumped 12%. Target stock exploded 12% higher through 11.15 a.m. after the company beat Wall Street analysts' forecasts for second quarter sales and earnings Wednesday morning. Heading into the quarter, analysts forecast Target would earn $2.18 per share on sales of $25.2 billion, but Target beat those forecasts with a stick. Sales were $25.4 billion, while earnings came in at a strong $2.57 per share. Target's Q2 Earnings Target reported a 3% gain in Q2 sales year-over-year, year, including a 2% gain in same-store sales. What really made the difference was e-commerce sales. Those grew nearly 9% year-over-year, helping to provide that final 1% of total sales growth. Target turbocharged the still rather modest sales growth with a dramatic 160 basis point increase in profit margin now 6.4%, illustrating the margin advantages of selling online. And with each incremental sale generating more profit for Target, bottom line profits ballooned, up 42% year over year. CEO Brian Cornell highlighted this effect, emphasizing Target's double-digit growth in our same-day delivery services, as illustrating how making more sales online helped Target fuel the company's turnaround. Okay, so it seems like from this article, it's highlighting how much Target made in online sales. Now, I mainly think of Target as, you know, a brick and mortar store that I walk into and I walk around and get lost and, and I wander around aimlessly buying a bunch of things I don't need. I'm sure you guys have seen some jokes or memes online about how people go to Target and then end up buying a bunch of things that they did not even initially intend to go there for. You know, that's just the target effect. You go there and you just buy a bunch of random stuff that you don't even need. But that's how I know Target. But it looks like a lot of this article is focusing on the fact that they sold a bunch of product online. Now, me personally, I don't really do my online shopping at Target. I do my online shopping mainly at Amazon. But it looks like a lot of people do use Target for their online shopping. Anyways, that's why Target went up so much today. And it paid off. My diagonal spread, it's up over 5% in one single day, which is really nice. Of course, I don't have that much invested in it, only about $4,000. But I'm happy that I was able to gain over $200 in one single day from this diagonal spread. Now, even though this target diagonal spread was profitable for me, I don't think I'm going to keep this long term. I'm going to close this out and get rid of it. Um, probably next week. Other than that, I don't really have much else to report. So I guess that's it for this portfolio update. If you guys like this type of content and you guys want to see more, please make sure to like and subscribe. 
and I'll keep on making more of these portfolio updates. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.